In this episode of Roofing How To Extension Ladder Safety Edition, we're going to cover a couple of key points how to use an extension ladder safely to access your roof without getting hurt, some points to keep in mind, and a couple of OSHA rules which are critical in your safety. So let me get the uh, GoPro on my head here in a minute so I can maintain the OSHA rules and not break them because I'm on camera and I have people that might hate it. If you liked the video, give me one of these. If you have any other tips, tricks, feel free to share them down below for the community. And let's get into this. Now that I got my hands free, because that is going to be a very important OSHA rule here in a minute, you want to make sure that your angle of the ladder is sufficient to not want to kick back on you while you're on it. You also don't want to make it uh, too steep so the base will kick out. You want to make sure your two feet are both in contact so the ladder is vertical. You don't want it crooked one way or another because as you go up, your top heavy off center of gravity will fall off. So make sure they're both secure. You can sometimes have ladders that have extensions on them or extend a, a piece of wood or something. Sometimes you can actually take your foot here and make it a cleat and rock it back and stick it into the mud. You don't want it slipping one or another and you don't want your ladder going like that. Now, one of the most important OSHA rules, anytime you're on the ladder, you need to maintain three points of contact. So what's that mean in layman's terms? You can't carry anything up. No tools or equipment get carried up. They have to be tethered, roped up, bucketed up, or machined up. So as you're going up the ladder, you have two feet and one hand. This hand goes up to make contact. You can now break that foot down there while maintaining three points of contact to climb up the ladder. That is a big one with OSHA. Another one with OSHA, from wherever your rooftop access point is, in this case the gutter here, you need three feet of extension ladder above that point. So if this hit here, for example, I need to extend this part of the ladder so I have three feet above that. A third big point OSHA I believe requires that I do because I've had it blow over you want to make sure it is roped to or tethered to and yeah I'm breaking the OSHA rule right now I got my hands off so this does two very important things for me one it's always on the ladder I never forget it it is with me when I carry it to the rooftop and I can simply loop it around a spike or around a fastening point an anchor whatever I need to do on the roof go around the ladder and connect it to it very convenient it's not going to blow away while I'm not on it I already told you about the three feet above. The second point of this is when I am done with the job and I carry it to the truck, I have a small piece of rope on the truck rack, uh, pretty secure with a tail end with a loop. So all I got to do when I get to the truck is put it in the truck and then I simply connect this end to the loop on the truck and I can guarantee it's not going to slide out and blow away because that, my friends, is pretty bad too. Uh, that's all this video is about. It's nothing more about what I'm doing here. I might shoot more for that, but this is just a brief overview of rooftop safety. Yes, I have three points of contact. I'm free to move my hand, but can't climb because if I have something in my hand and move my foot, I broke an OSHA rule. So be safe. So be safe. Use the ladder safely. It's a very dangerous tool. It's probably one of the most dangerous tools in the industry in the construction trade area. So be safe. Look up. Rooftop safety. Rooftop safety. <laughs> Just broke an OSHA rule. It happens a lot. Anyway, if you like the video, Does that count? Does that count as a point of anchor? Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Click the subscription button down below. And as always, until next time, be safe and see you then.